Hello, Mario's Web Crap of the Week, Season 3, Episode 41. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Web crap of the week. Well, it hasn't been a good week for crap. We have had some crap come across the desk, but not in the quantities of the previous, oh, previous five to ten weeks. So very limited amount of crap this week. So you might just want to cut back on the popcorn, but entertaining nonetheless, and the best crap on the web. We collect the crap over the week, we collate it, put it together, put a little bit of a report around it so that you can sit back at the end of your week on a Friday or Saturday morning and just catch up with the crap that's around. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's get started. But first, a word from our sponsor. And this week, our sponsor is Val Kilmer. For no other reason than I happen to um, refer to the movie Tombstone in which he played uh, Doc Holliday in my vlog previously. So had him on mine. So Val Kilmer. Thanks Val for your continued support of Web Crap of the Week and the Mario channel. Let's hope that all your fans uh, join us soon. Alrighty. So... And here we have our thumbnail. What the hell is going on here? I've got no idea, but that's one scary dude there. I hope, um, yes, imagine that appearing photobombed by that sort of carry-on. Ah, uh, well, yes. But, uh, you know, adds interest and what have you to our lives. And a bit of excitement. Hmm, I don't know. I wish I could uh, maybe do that with my eyes, perhaps. Mm, I doubt it very much. <laughs> All right, petrol prices in New Zealand are going through the roof. Huge costs, $2.50, $2.60 a litre in some place. So this has prompted this uh, sort of response uh, out and about. Regular an arm plus a leg and premium your firstborn child. Prices are getting very high for the petrol. There's going all sorts of um, things mooted in protest. My suggestion is that people just um, choose a particular date and time and drive on to the forecourt of their local service station and park their car and walk away. Uh, that would uh, sort of cause chaos uh, as a way of uh, making it clear to the government that uh, then we don't really want these high prices. The large percentage of it is, is tax. Bastards. Anyway, moving right along. If anyone's got any bright ideas, put them in the comments below the video. I'll probably go no further, but at least you'll feel better. All right, a visual gag. Woohoo! In the banana household. Mrs. Banana gets her groove on. Oops! Those bloody banana skins. Slippery buggers, aren't they? And uh, this one here, I love this one here. This, I guess, I think this might be my favourite of the week. Um, I've almost tempted Wendy gets privacy by creating her own book covers. Stabbing strangers who talk to you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. Very good. Ah, oh, this one. I've seen this around before. Yes, it's a very poor job that can't stand a supervisor or two. But here we've got the the hole inspector, the HR officer hole, chief hole coord, coordinator. So each person has got a um, got a role, obviously, in this uh, 
around this hole. Some of them even bringing chairs and all got their high-vis jackets, hard hats. I'll tell you, she's a, she's a mission. Ah, uh -huh. now this one here, another great visual gag. And um, yeah, it's only a gas tank. But how many times do you suppose he's been stopped? Yes. <laughs> hmm. I think sometimes the people would just stop out of interest just to ask the question, maybe take a selfie or something. Yeah, no, staying on the same theme, this one here. Dirt bike for sale. Runs a little rough. <laughs> Couple of nuts missing. <laughs> Good condition for age. 2,500. OBO. I'm not sure what the OBO, I know ONO means or near offer. Or bark offer. No, not sure. Not sure there. I'm sorry. Over my head. If you think you know the answer, that's what the comments below the video are for. Another great visual gag. Yes, the old duck hunting. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Clever duck. The old mallard. And uh, this one here, yes. <laughs> I'll never complain about my job again. <laughs> I'm assuming that's an elephant. Little boy, little boy! Don't walk behind the elephant! <laughs> Too late! Dig him out! I always remember when we lived in Antico Street in Wellington, which is up behind the zoo, and I was walking down the path one day, and to the, my wife said, with a wheelbarrow, my wife says, where are you going? I said, I'm going down to the zoo to pick up some elephant fertilizer. <laughs> she was not amused. <laughs> I thought it was terribly funny. I've been waiting for months to use that gag too. Yes. Uh, I saw this one here. It's sort of a, um, you know, a family that gives each other sort of ridiculous gifts. But this, so this was one of them, gift not included. Um, three batteries. Yeah. Quite a clever, clever spin on the uh, sort of um, batteries not included thing. And, well, for our Australian viewers, you know, how do you get a, can a kangaroo going through customs? Passengers must empty the pockets. There's the little Joey there. <laughs> ah, very nice. Very nice. All right. And this one here. Oh, yes. Ah, Jeff soon regretted buying a memory foam mattress. Remember when your pants, when you wet your pants in second grade. Remember when locker, your locker combo was. Remember when you spilled coffee in last week's staff meeting. <laughs> Memory foam mattress. Yeah, don't be getting one of those. Is anyone missing a mother-in-law? <laughs> yes. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Someone's got too much time on their heads. Way out in the country. Rules for wearing animal print yoga pants. Way less than the animal they represent. Oh, I so wish that was a rule sometimes when I'm shopping. Okay, and this one here. Shout out to everyone who got through the day without taking a nap. Pulled an all day today. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. And from the viewers, Moz sent in this this week. What's going on here? Whether the line guy overtook someone or whatever. But uh, yes, some serious um, shortcomings in his work there. Um, or... His basic understanding of parallel lines is somewhat flawed. <laughs> and this here, 
Did someone say Friday? Web crap? Web crap. Yes. I don't know whether that's um whether that's Moz's dog or not. He sent it in. I, I don't know whether that's his dog or not. It might be, because he's certainly written web crap, web crap there, but uh, whether that's a photo of his dog, um, I'm not sure. I'm 50-50 I'm on that, but hopefully Moz will clarify that in the comments below the video. And finally, this one here, which we've been talking about napping all week. Um, that's why I put the one up earlier, and Moz has come back with this one. I wake up every day planning to be productive, and then a voice in my head says, Oh, good one. And we laugh and laugh and take a nap. And pretty much how it is, I have to say, especially this time of the year, as we uh, transition into summer and it's starting to warm up. Yeah. Oops. And uh, then we go to Isaac the Kids page. Don't believe everything people tell you, Isaac. Word of wisdom here from Grandad or Mario. <laughs> I believe, I believed that instead of an Easter bunny, there was an Easter pig. I went to school and told my class, I'll never forgive my dad for telling me that. Hmm. So just be careful. Be very careful what you, what you, what, when people tell you stuff, what you believe. But anyway, that brings us to the end of Web Crap of the Week. Not so much crap this week, but, uh, well, you know, good quality stuff. And uh, still worthy of uh, an episode there. So, Isaac, the kids page, and everybody else, Isaac, young Isaac, and uh, everybody else, thanks for watching Web Crap of the Week. Your comments below the video. What was your favourite piece of crap? If you've got any crap, send it in. Mario at Mario.com will get it to me, and I'll put it in next week's Web Crap. So, all good. Thank you and thanks for your marvellous support of the Mario channel and Web Crap of the Week. We'll see you again on Friday of next week. Cheers. Smash that like button.